Hi guys, I said I'd get this review up with the Freddy 1 back to back, which I'm about to, because I've just filmed Freddy 1, and that's uploading. I had to get it off my camera because it sucks and I couldn't get enough room on it. Um, I need a new memory card basically. Plus it ran out of um, power so I had to charge it back up. So obviously it doesn't last very long. Like I said, I'm upgrading cameras soon. Um, this is the Jason Premium format. Now I've had two of these, one got smashed up. Uh, by mistake obviously, for reasons some of you know why. Um, I hate my cat basically. Uh, this one I do prefer to Freddy. It's, it's bigger, a lot bigger. Um, seems a lot more imposing, you know, more creepy. If you, if you see them both on the shelf, the one that's going to be the talkative point is this one. Um, I prefer Jason as a character personally. Um, I love them both, you know, as horror characters, but personally I prefer Jason and his movies. Um, this one comes with a removable mask, hockey mask, and there you can, I don't know if you can see that very well on there. Obviously, on the slideshow, it'll be better. Um, but you know, all his nose is smashed in. Um, he's just an ugly bastard basically. His hair's, he's got a bit of hair here. There's strands of hair, I don't know if that's real hair. But you know, it's not uh, sculpted. He's got a few gashes in the head. His jacket's a bit mashed up. Like he's been in a few fights, a few scratches, cuts. Same with the jumper that he's wearing. Sweat or whatever you want to call it. And um you know, he's battle damaged enough. I know some people have customised these jackets, took them off, or you know, some people actually thought about setting them on fire. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Um because they had two and I had to buy the second one, the second one I purchased was more expensive. But this was a statue that once it broke I knew I had to buy it back instantly because this is one probably one of my favourite statues. Not one of my most expensive or rare ones, but still one of my favourites regardless of that. Um, it does have slight damage this one. When it arrives in the box, it's Jason's feet off the base, the base in one compartment, the mask in another, and um, the machete comes out of his hand and then he simply plays that into where he would grip the machete. But he's got the majority of the handle in his hand already. And it sli simply uh, slides in. I've got slight damage just under there, on top of the uh, machete. Just like a small chip, you can't really see it once it's all together, so he didn't actually tell me that, but I didn't complain because I thought he's probably not even noticed it himself. Um, the base is, if you've already watched the Freddy review, because I think that should be up first, and then again I could upload them either way, so the base is the same as the Freddy's. Uh, well, not exactly the same, I don't think, in shape, but I'm not sure actually. But they are the same in like detail, it's like just a wooden floor with a few bolts put in, painted obviously, not real bolts. Um, and they put this is much bigger. He's got the sculpted boots, fully sculpted body. This one isn't poseable in any way as far as I'm aware. Sculpted hands, fully sculpted body. Uh, fabric pants, fabric jacket, fabric sweater, fabric. There's like a t-shirt underneath that. And um, the body, I'm sure it's sculpted up until a point. The body's all sculpted up, I think. As you get to the legs, it wouldn't be. Um, yeah, it was... I wonder if I can find that. I don't think it's in this box right here, actually. That's my old Jason that got smashed to pieces. And, um, hold on. That's my old one that got smashed to pieces. <laughs> so there's the boots. Yeah, this is actually quite handy, this, because I can show my old one, the parts that you can't see now. I can show those on screen, I guess. In a sad but positive way. That's what the boots look like. Um, this sadly got. My cat jumped up behind it. It was on this table actually, but in another room. My cat jumped up behind it, rubbed its head on it, and uh, it tippled and smashed to pieces. I took the clothing off for some custom stuff in the future, hopefully. I've still got a few bits and bobs left for it. Oh, here we go, look. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame. Uh, so, this is whatever number, I think it's 1,500, it may be less, maybe more, that there are in the world. There's actually one less now because mine's in pieces. I've got an extra base too. Um, so in case this ever gets damaged, I can use that one. This one is, oh, I prefer it over Freddy, as I said. But together, they, you know, they make fantastic pieces when they're together, especially facing each other because it looks like they're about to fight or you know whatever they want to do. My mask's a bit loose. If it doesn't look right on the face, that's because mine's a little bit funny. I did that myself though. 
And um, yeah, it's a great, great piece. If you're thinking about picking this one up, as I said with the Fred Air, this and uh, Freddy himself seem to be quite easy to pick up on eBay or you know, secondary hand market, wherever. Was that right? Secondary hand, I'm thinking second hand out of the secondary market. And um, it, it is an awesome piece, it really is. It's so underrated because they don't pick, people presume because they're not worth much money on the market compared to most things that with Sideshow anyway, compared to most things with Sideshow, that they're not good pieces, but really they are good pieces, they're great pieces. This is such a, so big as well compared to the other premium formats. I mean, I think this is nearly reaching Arnie's height without the extensive base that Arnold's on, the PF that is, and he's massive, which is true to the movie as well because he was a big, big guy. Um, this and Freddy, great, great pieces. I'm sure Sideshow are going to consider carrying on the modern horror line. Um, so far, they've made Leatherface, Freddy, Demon Freddy, Ash from the Evil Dead, and Jason. Now, they've considered, already it's been said, Michael Myers from Halloween, um, Pinhead from Hellraiser. And a really one that's requested a lot by the fans is um, Pennywise from the movie It, Stephen King's book, that got turned into a quite a low budget movie, but still quite a good movie. Uh, it went on for quite a long time, but it was quite a good movie. It was it, um... Oh my god, no way, I forgot the guy's name who plays it. Jeez, same dude, uh, a legend, I think. Man, he'd he done an awesome job anyway as Pennywise the Clown. And, he, you know, really scary performance. That's, you know, you know, when you just forget a name that you can. I'm not like an asshole now, but I really... <laughs> I knew the name two minutes ago, because I said it to myself. And, um... Yeah, it is a great, great piece. So if you are considering picking this up and getting into the modern horror line by Sideshow, premium format line that is, um, I picked these two up now because I'm sure once Michael Myers is out, um, what did I say before, Hellraiser or maybe whoever else they think about doing, I'm sure these will go back up in price. I'm still trying to get an Ash from the Evil Dead myself. Love the original movie, it's just so much fun to watch. And they can't be taken seriously at all. I understand what people say when they say, you know, what's going on, where's the story. These movies are just to watch for fun. There's nothing there. Drag Me to Hell was brilliant again by Sam uh, Raimi, is it? Rana? Raimi, I think. Another great, great movie. And, um, you know, if you're considering getting into this line, these statues are brilliant, honestly. They're so good. They, they look great on display. If you're considering getting into this, I really would now. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.